What's up you guys? Welcome to The Dancer Life. It's your girl, Pi Duval, aka it's Britney Bitch. And today I'm here to help you with tutting. Tutting comes from King Tut back in the Egyptian days. It's commonly used in hip hop dancing and break dancing. First things first, here's a few tips for your tuts. Ah, see, first tip, wear the right clothing. Baggy clothing like this, not gonna work. So, nice, that's much better. Take it off, girlfriend. Second of all, there's nothing really soft and fluid about tutting. You wanna hit these positions like you mean it. They need to have strength behind them, power, some chutzpah. When you're tutting, it's all about angles and being sharp and precise. So if you've got some weak ass arms, don't you worry, I got you covered. Check out my top five most effective arm workouts, then refer back to this video. Tip number three, see my hands? Now you don't. Whenever you're tutting, you wanna make sure that your fingers stay together, unless you're doing finger tutting, which involves different finger movements. But one of the main problems that happens is thumbs become disconnected, or even the pinkies. So make sure that your fingers stay in one straight line, as well as your hands. So the difference between this and this versus this and this is everything, okay? So we want clean lines, clean lines, clean lines. Tip number four, always stretch your arms out. This is a big thing because when you're tutting, you want your hands to become right angles. Now, if you're not stretched out, like your hand is gonna be like and you want it to be pulled all the way back. So what you always need to do is stretch your wrists back like this on both sides, stretching your wrists back. These can be done on the floor as well if you need to. And then stretching your wrist back this way. So you're getting a nice stretch on both sides so that your angles are nice and angular. <laughs> Other side. Yeah, rolling your wrists around is always helpful. Now, a common question is, when is it appropriate to tut? And my answer is, when is it not appropriate to tut? I tut when I'm go-go dancing. I tut when I'm breaking. I tut in hip-hop. I tut at the line at the grocery store when there's a little kid staring at me. I'm like... <laughs> what do you do with your body while you're tutting? This is a great question. So when you're tutting, you wanna make sure that you're facing the audience or facing a group of people or facing someone that's gonna see the shapes that you are making. Because if you are facing, let's say the wall and you're doing this, all they're gonna see is your back and maybe like a few elbows popping out here and there. If you're like on the ground backwards, upside down, tutting this way, maybe some spirits in the sky will see you, but you wanna make sure that your body is facing a certain direction. I'm usually always standing on my feet. Sometimes I will switch my feet around while I'm doing this, but ideally I'm just standing because the main focus is on the arm. You don't want to take focus away too much from what your hands are doing, not only for the audience, but for you, because you're focusing so hard on what's happening here that you don't want to confuse yourself and like mess this all up and become messed up with your feet. So make sure that you have a nice sturdy stance. You're facing a group of people or facing the audience and that you are hitting your movement strong. Tutting is for everyone. It's fun, it's cool. And I also really believe that tutting helps with your brain cognitivity. I love teaching tutting to children because I think it really helps their brain when they are, are, are obvious shapes. When you're teaching them kind of like free movement, sometimes there's not like a solid thing of what they're supposed to do. With tutting, it's very obvious. It's math, it's science, it's geometry. I once taught a kid that had Asperger's and tutting was something that just clicked with him. Everything else, he was kind of all over the place and couldn't really get his attention, but tutting was something that really helped his brain functionality and to help him kind of connect with the moves because it's very mathematical. 
Booyakasha. Master that so that when we go to the next level of tutting, you'll be ready. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos. I will be posting lots of dancer videos, tutorials, tips, how to, interviews, behind the scenes, all kinds of fun stuff. This is Party Vol, and this is The Dancer Life. Stay dancing, my friends.